Deranged Airsoft here and today we're looking at some uh, our new fly JPCs that we have. Um, we've Most of our videos if you watched before all of our gear has been black and now we're transitioning uh, some of our black stuff out for tan also. So we've been on the hunt for a nice small plate carrier that's going to offer us a lot of flexibility and be able to carry everything that we need uh, and still maintain a really small profile. So after searching, we kind of went with the JPCs. There's a lot of different brands out there, um, like uh, some old ones, Emerson, TMC, Lancer. They all make the JPC. Um, a lot of what we read and found out on those was like there was kind of hit and miss. Quality was good, some wasn't. But one thing we found with the Fly was that a lot of people said it was really nice, and we really couldn't find a whole lot bad with them, uh, especially when it came to production. And straight out of the box, we we're really happy with this. Now this is the Fly JPC uh, in Coyote Brown. Uh, it's made out of Cordura, uh, so it's really nice and stiff. It has this skeletonized um, cummerbund that comes with it. And first off the bat, you'll notice, unlike some of the other cummerbunds, which kind of go through a flap in the back, like you'll see with like the Banshee or some of the other types out there, this will uh, uses elastic retainers to attach to the mole webbing on the back of the JPC, the back panel. Now don't be scared by this and don't think it's any less sturdy because even though the, the, it's elastic it still allows for some pull and you, it really cinches up nice to your body once you have these adjusted. And they're very easy to adjust. You're just interlacing it with the mole and then with these mole pieces of the, the cummerbund in the back. So it's really, really nice. Um, it's going to offer a lot of breathability um, on your sides uh, with these this webbing like this. Um, I've been running my Banshee and that's one thing is you, you just kind of don't get a lot of airflow when you have that solid cummerbund. Um, that's why you see a lot of guys sometimes switching the regular cummerbund out just for those like the, the strap that's on the side or um, they get those elastic, the pig, I know pig makes uh, the elastic cummerbunds. Supposedly you get a lot more movement, freedom of movement, and more airflow with those. With this one, this one's going to be really nice because it's very open. Um, I'll show you some of the things about the, the pack. So first off, one nice thing about this is it has three built-in mag slots in this top pouch here. So you can take and you can put in your mags straight into a built-in pouch uh, on top in this admin, what is mostly an admin pouch and a lot of other uh, ones. There we go. And so you can have three mags stored in there all the time. It's also got Velcro inside, so if you decide you don't want to run your mags in the pouch and just run, let's say, three on the front, you can take your mags out show you the elastic inside there or the uh, velcro all you do is you just then squish it closed and it stays nice and flat so really nice feature right there with that um, inside here's where your cummerbund attaches it's got a lot of velcro space and this is like really nice uh, stitching that's done to it to make sure that it's going to stay on your JPC, but really nice. Even on here, you can see they got a lot of Velcro on space on here for it to really attach nicely uh, to the inside. We got it's nice. It holds up nice. Feels nice. Inside here is the pocket for your plate, so which is also Velcro, just like every other. You undo it, and this is the medium size JPC, which you can see with a M right there on that tag. So, for smaller guys like us, it works out perfect. And then you can put your plate in there. Now my plate has a two and a half pound metal plate that I add to it as a counterbalance for my um, tanks because we run the SMPs now and I noticed with the air tank, even though I'm using a carbon fiber one, just kind of threw off the balance a little bit when I started adding my two liter water to it also. So I added a two and a half pound plate to the front and it really balances things out nice. Now if you're not a big fan of the cummerbund, you can get, um, and I believe Fly makes a kit where you can actually um, attach this using like a buckle system. Um, it doesn't come with it, 
and honestly you could go to like your own store uh, hobby place and find some nylon and then get some clips and make your own little clip system for this if you wanted to to where you don't have to use this you could just use a little uh, different way to mount it to yourself um, the back side here the inside is nice um, it's also cordura so it's kind of hard you, know, you can hear my metal plate in there um, but it does allow for some breathability this mesh is going to allow this material inside to ventilate out when you buy this we bought ours from I believe airsoft mega store and when it comes it came with plates already inside of it so say we didn't know that I, I don't remember reading it on there but uh, we ended up buying some foam plates anyway so you can save yourself some money um, and, and make sure that it comes with these plates and at least it did from airsoft megastore when we bought it but it came with foam plates already inside but nice construction it's very solid um, construction and build on this this uh, pack which we're very happy about now these shoulder straps this was something that we weren't really sure about when we were reading up about them was like what is this material made of now I can't speak for what's on the Lancer Tacticals or the Emersons or TMC or which all seem to be the same company relatively um, but on this one this is um, Hypalon and Hypalon is like a it's like a rubbery synthetic material but it doesn't allow for any stretch like, and it's very very uh, resistant and strong another feature to it is it's very grippy like if you rub your finger across it you can feel it gripping your finger which when I was using my uh, Banshee sometimes when I would shoulder my rifle the material would allow the rifle butt to the rubber on it to slip with this Hypalon and the rubber it doesn't slip at all it's very nice and secure against my shoulder when I shoulder my my rifle which is really nice the shoulder straps are adjustable they are Velcro and it's uh, two pieces so they Velcro to each other. This uh, pad here really isn't a pad, it's just a stretch of cloth that goes around the shoulder pad here. It does not come off. So the way you have to adjust these straps is to, and now we did this, we did it, um, I did it the hard way by pulling this sheath back. So you can kind of pull this back along the hypalon. Mm, my gun just fell. But uh, this if you pull it forward it makes it very it makes it a whole lot easier to adjust these straps because then then you're not trying to pull this part back across this flap when you're pulling it back to the front so for you who are adjusting this pull this piece forward and then adjust your straps it's much much easier okay but we are very happy about this this pack this this uh, plate carrier um, it's gonna see a lot of use out there and we'll get back to you guys with some pics and stuff on our Facebook page, Deranged Airsoft, uh, of what it looks like on our gear and how we have it set up. And um, we, we are really excited about this. I think it's going to fit us very well. And for those of you out there who are wondering how big we are or like what size we are, I'm about 5'9", uh, 160 pounds, 150 pounds, and this fits me perfectly. And Psycho, he's a little taller and uh, still a little bit larger than me, and it fits him really nice. So this is a good good pack for those of you who are on the skinnier side um, and don't want something massive that takes up all your space. So really good. Take a look at it. The Fly JPC. And uh, thanks for watching. This has been Deranged Airsoft, and we'll see you guys on the field.